Hello guys, True here, back with another video. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. And before we get into this video, please remember to subscribe to this channel. We're getting closer and closer to 50 subscribers by the day. And then once we do get to 50 subscribers, we will have we will be doing the giveaway. So please um help out the channel um and please subscribe. And while you're at it, remember to hit the like button. Um help this video out with the YouTube algorithm and stuff like that. And um yeah, so remember to like and subscribe and let's get into today's deck. So today's deck um, is one um, <laughs> is one of my favorites. Um, the concept is Malamar VMAX um, with the attack max jammer for 180 damage, which is pretty good. Your opponent reveals their hand, choose a card you find there and put it on the bottom of their deck. Um, Yes, pretty good attack. And what and what makes Malamar VMAX so good is that it's a dark type. Um, one Dragapult VMAX is still very popular. It's probably, if not, the best deck um, in the format. And uh, Malamar VMAX is dark, and we actually one shot them. Even if they play something wacky like Big Charm, Max Jammer is still able to one shot our opponent's Dragapult VMAX, and. Um, and disrupt their hand at the same time which is a really nice bonus element um, so and in order to power up this Malamar VMAX as you can imagine playing dark you don't have much dark acceleration in the format right now um, besides Revile GX but that that clunks the deck even more um, so in order to be consistent as possible we use the Magneton line using call signal um, once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three supporter cards to reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. If you search your deck this way, this Pokemon is knocked out. And we can use Magneton's ability turn two to get Lieutenant Surge and two greens explorations. And playing one greens um, in one turn is already pretty powerful, but playing two greens in one turn um, is extremely insane. And it's super easy to grab using Magneton, as you can imagine. And what makes it better is that Magneton gives up a prize, which uh, would be bad, except that it enables us to utilize counter gain, meaning it's very likely we can get a turn two max jammer off, and we can utilize stamp as well. If our opponent has a bigger hand than five, um, we can stamp them down to five prize cards and make it so that they have less options. And from that five card hand, we choose one of those cards to put onto the bottom of their deck um, and hopefully uh, make, make it that they dead draw. So, and for some more d disruption against that Dragapult matchup, we do play that Wait and See Hammer. Um, if they go first and we go s and we happen to go second, we can always utilize Wait and See Hammer to make it um, to disrupt them and make it that they cannot get off a max a turn two max Phantom. Um, and some additional shenanigans we play, we play two Cynthia and two Marnie in case we ever do get bricked. And need a draw supporter to help us out. We can always grab it using Magneton. Um, and we play one of Mallow and Lana um, to heal our Malamar v, v Maxes. As you can imagine, 310 HP is a lot of HP. So you normally will not be getting. So you normally will get two shotted by things like Zacian, and you'll probably even get three shotted by things like Dragapult. So Mallow and Lana extremely useful for that Dragapult matchup and just other matchups in general. Um, and we play two power plants to make it that our opponent cannot detonate out of their dead hand. And we play one of Blizzard Town for that Zacian matchup. Um, maybe a few other matchups that, but those Blizzard Town super good against Zacian. Um, once we hit into a Zacian, they can't attack because they don't have enough health. Um, and Blizzard Town uh, might be surprising, must might be surprisingly good in a few other matchups. But that Zacian matchup is primarily what Blizzard Town is in here for. And um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say for the deck. That's the general idea. And let's just hop into some games. Alright, so hopping into our first game against Z Zab here. Um, good luck to him or her. Um, and let's call the coin flip. I'm going to stick with Tails this time. And we do lose the coin flip, unfortunately. But normally, we do go second. And yeah... Um, we do want to go second because we do want to play greens turn one. And this hand is looking super good right now. Um, <clears throat> definitely a pretty good start for us. We get a turn one greens. I'm not going to bench the Magnemite. Don't want to reveal that quite yet. And we start with the wait and see hammer in our hand. So as long as we don't get stamped, um, we're looking like we are in a very good spot. So 
looks like we are up against Pikaram. Um, I'm going to be honest, Pikaram is a very challenging matchup as um, they have some explosive turns. Um, and Pikaram is just, it's just a hard card to deal with um, in general. So let's see how we can fare in this matchup. There's a quick ball, getting rid of an electro power. That's actually pretty good for us. Um, that means they're not hitting us nearly as hard. There's a Pikachu and Zekrom. Um, I guess I still do want to play the Wait and see, see Hammer. Make it so that they have to get another energy. So um, Wait and See Hammer is not nearly as effective as I would like. Because they do have that Coco Prism on the bench unfortunately. But um, yeah we're still going to Wait and See Hammer. Get value here and... Um, I'm definitely going to bench Magnemite because we want to use Magneton in, in the following turn. Um, going to attach to the active. Um, use Green's Exploration. Um, I definitely want to get Energy Spinner to utilize that going second. And I want to grab an Evolution Incense to get out um, Magne Magne Zone, no, Magneton for the following turn. Um, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I don't feel a need to grab Power Plant right now, necessarily. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to roll with this for now. Um, yeah, so, we're, so I'm going to play Energy Spinner now, get those three energies that we definitely want. Um, let's go through the deck here. Um, uh, we do have the counter gains. Um, we prized the Marnie. We prized Blizzard Town. We prized the Quick Ball. Um, we have the one evolution incense in our hand, so um, we didn't price anything too major. So here we can get out these three very nice looking dark energies from generations. Um, let's see what else do I want to get out another Malamar V. I guess that would be ideal. Um, I don't see why not. So I'm gonna quick ball away uh, the ugly dark energy <laughs> and get out uh, Malamar V here. We actually do have Bede and Dex, so we, next turn if they somehow knock out our Malamar V, which isn't terribly likely, but it isn't terribly unlikely, we can go for that Magneton grab, grab Surge, um, Greens, and Bede. Um, actually, that wouldn't work uh, because Malamar V has to be on the bench, but uh, I'm still going to grab one, um, and we'll see what we can do in the following turn if they do knock this out. And here, I think I'll just pass to my opponent. Maybe I should have quick balled um, and attached to a bench Malamar V. Maybe that would have been the better play. Um, now that now that I think about it, that probably would have, but um, it's fine. Uh, they probably won't get a knockout this turn, um, as uh, they did discard a Electro Power, so they probably have a pretty good hand. Um, but I'm not sure. They didn't grab a Dedene with the quick ball, so I'm assuming they have a draw supporter. Or did they? There's a Guzman Hala, um, so they do have that full blitz they were looking for. Getting rid of an Eldegoss, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So they no Thunder Mountain grab. So if the Mountain's prize, we're looking like we're in a really good spot. Um, there's a Speed Lightning Energy to the Pikachu and Zekrom. Um, there's a Tag Call. Um, so we're not getting Marnied. Um, that's for sure. There's another Pikachu and Zekrom grab from our opponent. Um, they bench it. Um, there's the Dance of Ancients. If they have an energy switch, they can still pull off that that turn to full blitz that they're definitely looking for. Um, which wouldn't which I wouldn't be too surprised by. Um, Pikaram does play energy switch, so there's the escape board. Do they have the attack this turn? They retreat into this Pikachu and Zekrom. Um, okay, so they had the Thunder Mountain um, in hand. Uh, that makes sense why they didn't grab it. So um, we don't know what that one card in their hand is. Um, it's probably not good. Uh, seeing it might be good as they discarded the Eldegoss. And they charge all three up on this Pikachu and Zekrom. That's not good. But this turn we can actually handlock them. Um, which is pretty good for us I suppose. Um, let's see. We still get one shot however buy that tag bolt gx which is a little unfortunate um would have been would have preferred to stay alive for a few turns but i guess it's fine um we are hand locking out we are putting our opponent into that top deck mode uh, that we want them to be in so what can we do here um 
I think we can Malolan a switch actually. Um, we can surge greens for the counter gain and evolution incense. Um, no, but we wouldn't have the um, shoot. Um, I think we're just missing a card. So let's call signal. We're obviously going to do that. Um, grab out surge uh, greens. Um, so if I grab the mellow and Lana, we can surge greens, go for that counter gain, and yeah, it wouldn't work out. Um, yeah, this is a little unfortunate. We can't heal the active this turn. Um, that's not great. Um, I guess this turn we can bede um, to this Malamar V. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to go with the bede grab. Um, or do we go for the double greens? Um, just a lot of options. I think I'm going to go with the double greens here. Um, because that, that's just the feeling that I'm getting right now. So we can grab a lot of stuff um, using the double greens. Or we can even Caitlyn and Cynthia. Um, Cynthia and Caitlyn. Um, either way, it's fine. So we can surge. Um, go for that greens exploration. I'm going to get out. Um, going to get out. Let's see. We definitely need counter gain and evolution incense. Um, had we grabbed Bede. Could we have attacked with this Malamar V? We could have. Um, actually, could we have actually attacked with this Malamar V? Um, we could have uh, Surge, Greens, and Bede. Um, we could have grabbed out Counter Gain. Um, yeah, we could have attacked with this. No, we couldn't have because we still would have been short one card. So Double Greens was still the right play to make. Okay, um, that's good to note. So here, grab the Evolution Incense. Um, Play the Evolution Incense, um, go for that Malamar VMAX. Um, actually, I don't hate gusting up this Pikachu and Zekrom and hitting it because I definitely want to keep this uh, Malamar VMAX around as much as possible. So I think I'm actually going to go grab Great Catcher here um, and swing into the bench Pikachu and Zekrom. We have to take out two. Uh, Pikachu and Zekrom's anyway, so getting a swing onto that one is fine with me, um, I suppose. So here we can greens, um, get out a quick ball and a great catcher, I guess, and um, go from there, I guess. Um, actually, probably great catcher. Uh, we don't have another greens in the deck, so I guess we just go for a quick ball. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to grab. And here we can Great Catcher away the Quick Ball and the Dark Energy and um, bring up this Pikachu and Zekrom. Make it so that our opponent has to find the switch the following turn. Um, I hope this is the right play to make. We're definitely going to get rid of that research um, for sure. So now our opponent is in top deck mode. Let's see what they draw. If they get a tag call, they can actually Mallow and Lana, which would be super bad for us. And we would probably lose this game. There's the resetting hole from our opponent. Do they have a quick ball for a Dedene is the question. There's the attachment to the Pikachu and Zekrom. Um, and there's the Dedene from our opponent. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Um, I think we just lose now. Um, if they get boss's order to switch, we do just lose this game. Um, and E-Power. That is, there's the switch to the Pikachu and Zekrom. And there's the Tag Bolt GX knocking out our Malamar V. Really unfortunate <laughs> that we didn't um really unfortunate uh, that they top decked the, uh, the Dene GX um yeah just sort of unlucky um we can Cynthia and Caitlyn um probably with a dark energy I guess um get back the greens um but we've lost this game um I don't think there's any way we can come back and yeah um we took an own this first one against Pikachu and Zekrom which in general is a really hard matchup um and Let's see um, if we can get a dub in the second game, and I'll catch you guys there. All right, so hopping into our next game against Pokey Hawkeye. Good luck to him or her, and we do win the coin flip, so we do want to go second. Um, let's see what our opponent is playing. We do start off with the mulligan, which is fine. Um, 
for some reason we tend to have a lot of mulligans we do only play seven basic pokemon um so uh you do see mulligans sometimes so here start off with two magnemite that's really good um meaning we basically have that turn two guaranteed max jammer um, and there are some Dragapults from our opponent. This is looking pretty good for us. Um, we want to see the Dragapult V. Um, it's a pretty solid matchup for us. So here I'm going to play the Greens Exploration. Um, I really want, want to go for that Energy Spinner. Um, so Spinner um, and Wait and See Hammer. But then that leaves us with no draw support for the following turn. Um, so here, I think I will just go for that evolution intense and hope uh, they can't knock out both of our um, both of our Magnemites the following turn. That doesn't feel like a good play though. Um, so I think I'll just grab another greens just to play it extra safe. Um, we do only have one greens left in deck, so Magnezone won't be Magneton won't be nearly as effective. So this is what I'm gonna go with. Um, here I'm gonna play the energy spinner. Um, get out three dark energies um, and uh, we did prize one magneton that is something to note um, let's see what else we prized all the gains are here um, so we prized two greens a power plant um, let's see what else we prized um, that's all I really see um, and and a couple of uh, energies, so that's that's all we prize. Um, nothing too major. We play ten dark energy, so that's a sizable amount. So here I will quick ball um, away. Um, probably the bede, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna quick ball away the bede and go for the Malamar V. Um, attached to the Malamar V, uh, bench this Magnemite and pass to our opponent if they swing into us next turn we do have that turn to max jammer um, with the screens we can grab evolution incense and counter gain and um, just knock out our opponent's dragapult v max there's the scoop up net from our opponent and there's the research we're not getting marnied that is super good for us um, unbelievably good so um, doesn't matter if they get the v max here um, we will just one shot this and here they retreat actually into this jirachi um, they probably have a switch in hand, probably looking for that. There's the quick ball, probably looking for that Zigzagoon to take a knockout on both of our Magnemites, um, which is fine. Um, and there's the concession from our opponent. Um, I guess they didn't have a switch in hand or something, um, but uh, that's going to be a game two against Dragapult VMAX. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next game. All right, so hopping into our next game against Pitochus, one, two, three. Good luck to him or her and their typing for Psychic, Normal, Grass, and Fairy. So I don't really know what they're playing. Um, anything with Fairy, um, Doll Star? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what our opponent's playing. I will call Tails. We do win the coin flip for once. Um, I definitely want to go second here um, for sure. So let's see what our opening hand looks like. Um, pretty good. Um, we have that greens um, for a quick ball. We can get out... Um, Magneton, um, I mean, what? so it looks like we are up against Lost March. This is not a good matchup as we are indeed weak to grass, but there's just a pass from our opponent. Looks like they don't have much going for them this turn, um, which is definitely what we need. We can grab the Energy Spinner and the Quick Ball, um, which is pretty optimal as we can utilize Energy Spinner, get out three energies from our deck. Just really hoping our opponent does not knock us out the following turn with jump fluff that would be really bad for us um so here quick ball um quick ball get rid of um energy um go for a magnemite the bad thing is we don't have the combo next turn um we can greens but we can't surge um if we play greens first but um it's fine i think yeah, we don't have the combo next turn. That's really annoying, actually. Um, and there's a Cynthia from our opponent. This isn't looking too good, now that I think about it. Um, let's see if they have the attack this turn. There's a Great Ball. Do they? There's a Trumbeak. That's fine. We do play a lot of supporters, so they might get one. Would not be shocked, um, to say the very least. So 
there they trumbic away a boss's orders so that's really annoying and there's the multiply from our, our opponent um going to take out a hot bip um we top deck an evolution incense that is perfect that is exactly what we were looking for um so here we can go grab that magneton um and do the combo this turn um so they multiplied um did they attach the grass energy before they sent the i don't think they did right um they drew some cards um when did they no they attached the grass energy before they played the cynthia that's definitely a misplay because um the ability from um the evolution the ability from jump pluff um or whatever the evolution of hop if it hop -ip is makes it so that um all the cards go go to the lost zone so the grass energy would have been discarded so that's something to note um our opponent definitely misplayed there um so here we can call a signal get out Surge greens, um, probably a bede, um, I guess. Um, what else could we grab? I guess a Mallow and Lana wouldn't be terrible. Um, hmm. Choices, choices. Um, I guess another greens, I guess. So here, um, we can take this um, and start pressuring our opponent with Malamar VMAX. They need eight Pokemon in the discard pile next turn. They only have one, which is pretty good. Um, we can Surge here. Play the greens, um, go for that evolution incense we were talking about, and that um, counter gain. Um, only one counter gain in deck, that is something to note. So here we can evolution incense, um, go for that Malamar VMAX, um, evolve, attach counter gain, attach the energy, um, play another greens. Um, probably just gonna go for, um, let's say, power plant and. Um, Quick ball, um, because our opponent, um, there's a sad face from our opponent. Let's give them the happy face because we're happy we top deck, we top deck that evolution incense. Um, our opponent could play the Dene GX and they could dead change if we um, made them dead, for, if we um, put them in top deck mode. So I think power plant here is a pretty strong move um, on our end. So here we can quick ball away. I think I want to keep the Blizzard Town around just in case they play. Um, they definitely play the Cottony um, and maybe the Natu, so definitely want to keep Blizzard Town around. So here, I think I will just quick ball away to switch, um, go for another Malamar V, so we don't automatically lose if they manage to take a knockout this turn. Um, so yeah, just gonna bench the Malamar V, um, throw down Power Plant, and Max Jammer our opponent. Um, Night March doesn't play that much energy. Um, we can definitely get rid of that research and now our opponent is in that top deck mode and it looks like they were playing an Inteleon build of Lost March which is super clunky um, so definitely good um, that we went with that um, definitely good that we were able to pull off that max jammer this turn um, and there's the concession from our opponent um, the Malamar V Max was just too much for them and um, I think that's gonna do it for the video today you guys sort of short but I think I've really showed off the demonstration of um, the power of Malamar VMAX. You will get a lot of scoops um, and this deck's really good for grinding. So if you guys like the if you guys like the video, please remember to hit that subscribe button and to like this video. Um, and yeah, remember to stay safe. Um, have a good day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.